Hello and welcome to my talk on copper ferrous selenide quantum dot based infrared photodetectors that have functionality in ambient conditions. Let me start with talking about infrared photodetection, the applications of which include thermal imaging, body temperature monitoring, uh, which we saw recently in COVID pandemic, remote sensing, and infrared astronomy. There is a need to improve infrared detectors in terms of their cost effectiveness, the conditions in which they have to be operated, and the toxicity of materials used. We propose to use quantum dots for this purpose. Quantum dots are essentially semiconductor nanocrystals, which are often solution processable, and especially uh, a good thing about them is that they can be processed in ambient conditions. We propose to use copper ferrous selenide nanocrystals in this case, which happens to be a 136 semiconductor. Here is a TEM image of the quantum dots, and here is what they look like uh, dispersed in a solvent. The composition of these quantum dots is an earth abundant composition, and they are less toxic than heavy metals such as mercury, cadmium, and less lead. They also have lower costs than other materials being currently used in the market. The synthesis of these quantum dots is a chemical process that happens at various temperatures around 200 degrees Celsius. Once the quantum dots are synthesized, they are clean and redispersed in hexane before being used for fabrication of a device. So we selectively coat silicon with the quantum dots here shown in purple and then coat the device with gold pads for charge collection. The infrared light is shined from beneath the, the device. We characterize the, the material with FTIR spectroscopy by depositing the quantum dots on a DSP silicon wafer. Here is the optical density as well as the absorption coefficient observed and the E04 band gap which is where the alpha of 10 to the 4 is crossed is at about 0.68 EV and the E3 band gap is around 0.28 electron volts. We also check the photoconductivity of an, a metal semiconductor metal device while using a germanium filter to filter out lights with shorter wavelengths than 1.8 microns. And here you can see with time that as soon as the light is switched on, we see at a, a rate about, of about 0.2 microamp per minute uh, increase of the current. We expect that there might be a large RC constant that is leading to the slow response and additionally with thermal, uh, with excitonic responses, there is also likely to be a thermal response. We also tested a PN heterojunction device with a tungsten bulb uh, directly shining light onto the device. And as you can see here on the right, we have an IV curve linearly as well as in the semi log scale. A typical diode characteristic in the IV curve has been observed with the light and uh, the photo response in the fourth quadrant suggests the presence of an excitonic response. So to conclude my presentation, I presented copper ferrous selenide quantum dots as promising candidates for mid-infrared light detection. We also observed a slow electrical response in the MSM device in IR region and a photodiodic behavior with a wide spectrum source. In the future, we hope to characterize the responsivity as well as the time response of these quantum dots for better analysis. I'd like to acknowledge the Department of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology of the Government of India, the National Nano Fabrication and the Micro Nano Characterization Facilities at the Indian Institute of Science, and Professor Satish Patel, who is the chairperson of the Solid State Chemistry Unit. I hope you liked our talk. If you would like to contact us, this is our address, and you can also reach us at this email address. Thank you. Thank you.